Hi guys, I'm Zian once again and this video tutorial is going to be on how you can authenticate a Linux or BSD machine uh, to another Linux or BSD machine um, using RSA authentication. Now the cool thing about RSA authentication is that um, you do not have to enter a password when you want to SSH um, and this kind of makes your life very easy especially if you're working in a environment where there are a lot of servers uh, like what I do so if you kind of set up your servers to accept your RSA key uh, you will be able to log in to them with your laptop which is having Linux or Unix and kind of uh, directly log into them without needing to enter a password uh, in a secure manner so what we're going to do is uh, in this setup I have a VMware workstation and I got two servers which are server A and server B. My necessity is that server A will be able to SSH to server B without needing to enter a password. In the background I have two SSH uh, windows open uh, that has connected to server A which is 0 0.151 and server B is 0 0.160. So if I just try uh, to SSH to server B, I had to say SSH, Xian, which is the username and give 192.168.0.160 and now it asks for the password. So if I give the password of that account in server B, it will be able to access. But how can we uh, kind of access without entering a password is what we are going to discuss today. And this method is kind of very safe because we're using an RSA key and um, it's more convenient than being safe. So I'm just going to exit this and clear things up. So one of the very first things we have to do is generate a public private key pair. And to do that we have to use um, SSH keygen and put minus T and RSA. So it'll ask, it'll be saying uh, it's generating a public private key pair and it's now asking where to save it. So by default the location where it will be saved is in the, do the .ssh folder which is in your home directory and the name of it will be itrsa. So it's perfectly alright to have the default value and I'm just going to press enter. But if you want to enter a different file name uh, you can just enter it over here for example you can say home xian dot ssh um, some different file name file one so I'm in not interested in changing the name and I'm what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press enter and then it asks for a passphrase a passphrase uh, in well uh, RSA authentication is kind of a password that you can use uh, to prompt yourself or whoever is using your computer uh, before he uses RSA to authenticate himself uh, to the service and you can enter any password over here but well my I'm not very interested in having a password because having the password is what annoys me so I'm just going to press enter and press enter again and now it has kind of generated a public private key and has saved it um, to well um, my home directory in the .ssh folder. We can just have a look at it by saying home xian and .ssh and as you see we got a file named idrsa we can just list it if you interested in seeing what is inside. Let's I, uh, idrsa. It's kind of a very long private key. See, so it's begin RSA private key over here. And if we go into dot pop file, that's um, idrsa.pop file, you have a public key and it has some information, other information like uh, your username. So, what we're going to do is uh, we're kind of uh, going to transfer uh, the public key which is over here 
uh, to the remote host so it knows uh, that it's you when uh, you're trying to log into it so what we're going to do is we're going to use S, um, SCP so what I'm going to use is I'm going to transfer these files using SCP to the remote host I'm going to say the username no I have to give the file name first uh, IDRSC dot ssh dot idrsc and I'm going to say the username zian at 192.168.0.150 no it has to be 160 and when I press enter no I had to put colon and this wavy sign I don't know what it's called it's just above the tap sign and when I say enter it will ask for the password of the remote server I'm going to give it and the file has been transferred so oh we made a mistake we we transferred the wrong file okay we shouldn't have transferred it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer another file uh, public and it's asking for the password again so make sure that what you transfer is the public key which is idrsa.pub okay now if you go to the other server and then less uh, you find idrsa.pub okay idrsa was an error so let's delete it rmidrsa so now what you have is idrsa pub what you have to do is you have to give these credentials uh, saved in a file or appended to a file that is in the .ssh folder named authorized keys so what I'm going to use is cat um, I'm going to say idrsa.pub I'm going to put this two larger than signs which is which means if the file does not exist create a file name uh, which is in .ssh .authorize authorized keys so what I'm going to do is I'm saying if .ssh slash authorized keys does not exist create it and copy the content over there but if the file exists what you have to do is you have to append the data into the existing file so that you don't lose um, data if you use one of this sign uh, you will lose whatever the data that was there previously so make sure you use two of these greater than signs and press enter okay so we have done what we had to do and if I try to SSH to serve B I had to say SSH cyan at server nope, 192 0.160 and there we go we are authenticated without the need of a password so this is kind of a cool way to log in you can it's kind of very secure as well because of its uh, it's using a public private key uh, of the RSA algorithm and uh, most of all it's kind of making your life very easy so if you're using, uh, if you're living in a Linux environment or Unix environment, uh, this kind of way is uh, very useful to log into systems without needing to remember password. Remember, this is not for Windows. I do not know if this facility is available in Windows, but I think it's not. So, if you are a Unix guy, this will be of use to you. I hope I have been helped to you. This is the conclusion or the end of. Um, RSA authentication for SSH. Uh, I hope you have a nice day. Thank you for listening.